I'll be coming home Then I'll be at your door When I'll be coming home So Bonneville, where are we? <laughs> We're in sunny Filey. Sunny Filey. North Yorkshire. Yeah. It's supposed to be sunny. Yeah. We're on the beach in Filey, folks. Yeah. Sorry we've not been around for a while, but we've been busy and we've always said we're not going to vlog for the sake of it. But yeah, so come and join us in the mist and the fog <laughs> whilst we take our boy for a walk. The weather report said that the sun's going to come out at 10 o'clock. What time is it now? It's, it's gone 10 o'clock. It's about half past 10 and yeah. it's right foggy. It's and awful. Cold. Let me just show you. There you go, that's what we're looking at. So enjoy your vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Right, see you in a minute, folks. Happy days, happy days in Filey. There's our boy on the beach. There's Mrs Bonneville. Let's come down onto Sandy Bay. This oh. way, Kenneth. And the summer here, folks. Yeah, this is Filey in North Yorkshire, and every time we come here, the weather's awful. <laughs> I'm not knocking it, but every time we come here... Hey! <laughs> right. A fishing town on the North Yorkshire coast, Filey is steeped in rich cultural history. Records indicate that people have lived here for well over 1,200 years. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence which suggests the Romans built signal stations in Filey to warn off impending skirmishes from the savage Saxons. In circa 1830, the now Grade II listed Langford Villa was built and later became the summer residence of the Terry's family, the famous York chocolatiers. <laughs> Honestly, folks, you can't see. You can't see 20 feet, 30 feet in front of you. <laughs> so yeah, this is Filey. <laughs> We're not phased. We're not made of sugar. We won't melt. We'll just freeze to death instead. No, I don't care about the weather. You okay. know that. Ah, oh, folks, so as I say, this is Filey. And uh, every time we come here, <laughs> we never get nice weather. <laughs> yeah, so folks, don't quite know what to say, folks, really. It's not much Point. to see, is it? Um, he didn't forecast this. It forecasts it to be very nice and sunny. Ah, it's the only job in the UK that the, you get paid to get things wrong. And that's our weather forecasting in the UK. I'm sorry. I don't know what's like where you live. But anyway, this might be a very, very short vlog, folks. <laughs> Mightn't it, my love? What's that? I just said to our lovely viewers it might be a very short vlog because there's not that much to see. <laughs> anyway, it's just a quick update, you folks. Need, you need X-ray vision. Yeah. We're doing OK. Canna's doing OK. I the... had a, I had a nice pedicure. Look at the toes. Yeah, I treated Mrs Bonneville for a pamper day at the local... Beautician. Beauty place, parlour, was... whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Although I don't look like... <laughs> But well, my toenails and my fingernails look nice. Anyway, look, yeah. we'll probably pick back up with you later on, folks, because, as I say, I I'm not going to show you that all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Several years now, Mr B has been hoping to find a crab in the many rock pools that we find when going to the seaside. Up to now, he's found none. Well, folks... Drama on the beach in Filey. So there you go, folks. Yeah, a crab. You, you finally found one. You spent ages all down in Devon and Cornwall. Couldn't yep. find one. Right, we're going to carry on just having a bit of a beach comb. And we'll see you. Well, I don't know where we'll see right, you. Sorry it's been a while, but um, we've not really been... Well, we have been places, but nowhere that we thought was worth vlogging. So, yeah, we're OK. Everything's fine on the boat. Still loving life on the boat, absolutely loving life on the boat, to be honest with you. As I've said a million times, so pleased we made that decision to stick with boats. Can I? It's lovely, it really is. Still on the, well not a hunt, we are looking forward to going to the uh, Caravan and Motorhome show next month at the NEC. Mm -hmm. 
we cannot, we cannot find online, and all the vlogs are watching, a motorhome with the right layout. Until we watched something yesterday, the motorhome man. It was an Eldis. I don't know if they're any good. It was a tiny little motorhome. It was a new motorhome, but it got a lovely layout, hadn't it, love? Yeah. But we haven't found yet a motorhome with a rear lounge. I know you have to sacrifice the garage and all that stuff. And there's probably about 15 people tuned out already. And we've said to ourselves, we're not going to do what we did on the narrowboat. Um, panic. We are going to find a van or a motorhome with the right layout. And then we're going to proceed. So, yeah, really excited about that. Mrs B, is there anything we've, uh, we need to update our viewers on? You took the flowers. Down. Took the flowers down. They lasted for about three months, which I was pleased about. Considering putting something up for the winter, mm -hmm. don't know yet. Yeah, you might be putting some pansies in. That'd be nice, won't it? Some winter pansies. Might be. Yeah. No. We haven't succumbed to putting the fire on yet, although we have had the. We've had the central on. heating on a couple of times. A few times. An hour here, an hour there, just to warm the boat through. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And yeah. we, I've just said to everyone, we've lost about thirty viewers already. As content again is king. <laughs> <laughs> There was the choice today to come here or I found another little beach in Conway where we could have gone to a couple of marinas to show you some expensive yachts. But instead, you can see me and Mrs B slip sliding around amongst the seaweed. Yeah, up north. Up north. Goodbye. We stop off at the famous Greg's Bakery on our way home. And of course, we'll share it with Kenneth. Wow, folks, we have arrived back on the boat. Mrs. Bonneville is... Let me just turn the camera around. Hold on. Can you see her waving? Hello. You won't be able to hear her, but you can see her waving. On the way back, we um, heard on the radio a amber weather warning for uh, thunder. Let me just show you the sky outside of the boat. Oh, can you see that sky? That is a very, very moody sky. <laughs> oh, look, there's the boat, minus the flowers. I say, I might put some uh, winter pansies. Don't be laughing, you lot. Might put some winter pansies up. Let's see if we can get a bit of a better look at Mrs. Bonneville. She's uh, sitting down watching uh, Slapped Ham, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Where is she? There she is, look. See through the window, look. <laughs> I don't know whether you see because of the reflection. <laughs> anyway, look. Look at that sky. Oh. oh. I hope. Golly, I hope that was captured. Look. Two bags of coal. On the roof, ready. Listen. I read somewhere the other day, the other week, sorry, that um, you're supposed to just act normal um, in front of your dog. Right, let me just switch these lights on. You've never actually seen. So, pointy finger, we've got uh, lights all the way. Um, let me just show you. Hold on, I'm just going to put you down, folks. You can see now, there's the lights. Camera's never really picking up that well. But we've got lights on the back deck. As I say, we're sorry it wasn't a brilliant vlog today, but the weather really scuppered it. Can you listen? Can you hear that? That's the rain. View from the bridge. <laughs> There's uh, Kenneth's couple of little skill balls and his frisbee and his tennis balls and all his other outdoor toys. And here's a view from the back deck. Obviously, the oh, lightning. Can you hear that? This is just another, it's, it sounds silly, but until you've been on a boat in a thunder and lightning storm like this, you won't know really what I mean, but it's just another little reason we love being on a boat and we're so pleased we decided to stay in a boat. It's just lovely, it, it really is. It's so different. Um, as we've said on our question and answer sessions, it's not for everyone, um, but if you like the great outdoors and if you just like a relaxed, chilled lifestyle, Go get yourself a boat. I've got two jobs to do to the boat, by the way. 
Um, someone asked me on a, an email about a month ago, so I'll answer it now. Got two jobs to do before winter sets in. I want to give it one last little um, wash um, and clean outside. And I want to also, well, one thing really, I also want to get back on the roof and just do that one more time. Um, and then it's all set for winter then. And then it can do whatever it wants to do weather-wise. Let's come down and show what Mrs Bonneville's doing. So folks, as I say, she's not mic'd up. Oh, Weaver, <laughs> we're having some lightning. She's not mic'd up, so you won't hear her. Kenneth's coming down, look. He's <laughs> on his own. Kenneth's coming, look. He don't like being on his Come own. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> those two big things, those two big, those, those are Kenneth's beds. We put those, let me just show you where we put those. There's two of those. And in the winter, we put those each side of the bed. Wow, that's a bit, uh, there you go. That's one side of the bed. And there's the other side of the bed. Dehumidifier's outlook already. It's that season again, folks. Oh, Mrs. B's made the, the bed ready for this evening. We have two quilts, two separate quilts. We do the, uh, the alpine thing with our quilts, um, which we've done for years, haven't we, my love? Yeah. We've done for years. But anyway, and there's, look, there's our boy's favorite place when we're actually in the boat. But I guarantee in a minute, when I walk back up to the back deck, he'll follow me. Ooh. Right, see you in a minute, Mrs. B. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, Lordy, there's lightning. <laughs> there you go. You know when you have a thunderstorm, thunder and lightning, and the, um, the, the atmosphere gets that charged, that's what it feels like. It's fully charged, the atmosphere. It feels sometimes like a raven reporter. I don't know why that microphone goes red there. Turned it off, it's now blue. I think as it should be. Need to read the instructions. Um, oh, did you see that? Listen, the, the thunder will be next. Right, seriously, I am going to sign off now. So, um, as I say, sorry it's been a little bit of a disjointed and very, very small and short <laughs> vlog. Um, but we're fine. Um, we've not really been anywhere. Well, we have, but nowhere, as I said earlier, that we thought was worthy of, um, you know, switching the cameras on. So that's why we've not vlogged. So well, thank you. We've had a couple of... Uh, comments and questions and emails in terms of are you guys okay we're absolutely fine so we will see you probably really soon bye bye there we are look no idea what all that is I've just left the flap unzipped. No, I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs>